Rotorq Subsea. Many subsea solutions require the actuator to be fitted with an ROV operated override. Most common designs have the override as an integral part of the actuator. However, if for any reason the actuator has to be retrieved, there is no means of operating the valve subsea. Rotorq's unique actuator gearbox solution provides the end user with a fully operable valve at all times, even if the actuator has to be retrieved for any reason. The actuator and override gearbox is ROV operable, featuring pressure compensation to balance internal and external pressure, mechanical valve position indicator, a central lifting point via a frame or cradle, stops located within the gearbox actuator transition spool ensure valve position is maintained Flushing manifold aids commissioning and umbilical testing. Electrical limit switches provide remote position indication. To show the features and functionality, we have taken the scenario where the control signal to open the actuator is given, sending hydraulic pressure via the umbilical to the actuator. The actuator strokes, opening the pipeline valve. If hydraulic pressure drops, the actuator moves to the fail position. A decision is made to disengage the actuator drive from the override gearbox, allowing the gearbox to be operated via the ROV, driving the valve to the open position. Now the ROV with the ISO 13628 rotary torque tool drives the gearbox and valve to the open position. The actuator can now be tested in isolation without moving the valve. Here the operator could continue to identify the cause of the problem and re-engage the actuator or retrieve the actuator for diagnosis. In our scenario the decision is made to retrieve the actuator for investigation. Once removed, a capping plate is fitted to the transition spool and the cavity is flushed with biodegradable fluid to remove the seawater and to complete the compensating function. During the retrieval phase, the valve remains operable via the ROV. Guide pins ensure the correct position when mating with the spool. The actuator and gearbox spool cavity is flushed to remove seawater and completing the compensating function. It is important to remember that the true valve position has always been maintained via the transition spool end stops. The actuator automatically engages when the correct open position is found. The actuator and valve is now recommissioned. Rotorque Subsea.